So, last class I have discussed about the negative skin friction and I have discussed the negative skin friction for single pi. So, before I start the example problem, so I should discuss about the sing, uh, negative skin friction for group pile. Okay. So, this is the uh, uh, group pile. So, the negative skin friction cases are same as I have discussed for the single pile. So, only difference is how we can determine the a negative skin friction for the group pile. The same way we can determine the negative skin friction for the group pile as we did it for the for the uh, group pile load carrying capacity. So, first we calculate the negative skin friction for the single pile, then you have to multiply with the number of piles. So, this is the group uh, negative skin friction that we uh, determine the negative skin friction for single pile and then we multiply it with the number of pile where is the number of pile and this is for the negative skin friction for single pile. Okay. So, this is the negative skin friction single pile and then we can uh, calculate the negative skin friction as a block for the pile group and that is the expression and where uh, p p a g again the area will be the this is the group pile group and this is if this is the s is the spacing and this is d by 2 this is also d by 2 so my b will be 2 s plus d for this particular case and if it is a square uh, pile group then this will be b square. So, this is b plus 2 s plus d okay. and then this will be the. So, area will be a g will be this uh, particular case b square or if it is a rectangular pile then a g will be equal to b into l a triangular pile group. So, that means, the here a g and the uh, l c is the length of the uh, your negative skin friction zone and f s is the negative skin friction and then uh, that uh, negative skin friction f s we can uh, determine the same way that we have discussed for the single pile, because we are doing the same technique or we have done the same technique for the load carrying capacity of the pile also. So, the same way we can determine then you have to multiply with the p g is the perimeter and so perimeter will be here for uh, 2 or p g perimeter of the group will be b plus l for rectangular or p g will be 4 b for the square. This is for the rectangular and this is for square. Okay. So, that way we can determine the p g and a g and l c is the length and this unit weight is the unit weight within the pile, pile group or within the pile group up to a depth of l c. So, this way we can determine the negative skin friction for group and minimum of this uh, sorry maximum of these two because in load carrying capacity it was minimum um, um, of, th of these two values group uh, block failure and single failure, but here as the negative skin friction will give us the negative effect. So, you have to take the maximum of these two as your negative skin friction for the group during the design. So, this example problem uh, is for so, first we will go for the single pile, then we will go for the group pile. Okay, the single pile, we have that uh, profile. So, suppose this is the pile whose diameter is 0.3, it is uniform cross section and the field zone is 2.5 meter thick, 2.5 meter thick. So, that means, L c is equal to 2.5 meter. So, whose properties it is a cohesive field, 
cohesive field whose phi dash is equal to 30 degree. So, under C D test we have determined that and the unit weight of the soil is 18 kilo Newton per meter cube and water table is at the top of the field and uh, we can consider delta value is two third of phi dash because delta is given uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 here we have taken two third of phi dash k we know that is 1 minus sin phi dash and unit weight of water is taken 10 kilo Newton per meter cube. So, we have to determine what would be the additional load on the pile due to the negative skin friction. So, this is the cohesionless soil. Okay. So, here the, the water table is at the ground surface. So, the uh, we can use the linear distribution because if water table not within the, uh, at the ground surface is some depth below the ground surface, then we cannot use the linear distribution that will be a bilinear type of distribution. Okay. So, but here we can use the distribution considering the submerged unit weight. So, directly we can use that expression in such case f s f n will be half perimeter into L c square gamma dash k tan delta. Okay. So, k is equal to 1 minus sin phi. So, that will give you 1 minus 30 degree. So, that is 0.5. So, finally, the k n value is half perimeter will be pi d pi d is 0.3, L c is 2.5 square, unit weight is 18 minus 10, because this is gamma sat, 18 minus 10, then k value is 0.5 into tan delta, tan delta is 2 third of phi, which is 30 degree. So, this is the negative skin friction and that value is 4.3 kilo Newton. So, that mass of the load additional load is acting on the pile due to the negative skin friction. So, now I will uh, uh, go to the second case, this is the case number 1. Now, for the second case, case 2 that for the case 2, the problem is uh, slightly different. So, case 2 that we have the field, which is uh, this is the field, which is uh, questionless. And this is uh, normally consolidated soil, this is cohesive. Okay. His properties this is a soft clay, phi dash is 30 degree, and we have done it for C D test, gamma sat is 20 kilo Newton per meter cube comma w is 10 kilo Newton per meter cube, diameter of the pile same as 0.3 meter, the field thickness is 1.5 meter and total length of the pile is 22 meter. Okay. So, we have to determine the negative skin friction for two cases, one case is floating pile, another case is point bearing pile. Water table is at the field base level. Okay. So, unit weight of the field is 18.5 kilo Newton per meter cube, unit weight of the this field. 
So, first case that is floating pile Okay. So, we know that here q 0 value which will act as a surcharge here. So, that is q 0 bar, but here the water table is below that fill or the base of the fill. So, q 0 bar will be equal to q 0 and that value is 18.5 into 1.5. So, that q 0 is 27.75 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, length of the pile, effective length of the pile will be 22 minus 1.5 because 1.5 is the fill. So, this is 20.5 meter. So, now we for floating pile we know the expression of L 1 is developed. So, this is the case where the negative skin friction is due to the movement of the downward movement of the lower soil that is the soft clay soil. So, L is given L by L 1, L by 2 plus q 0 divided by gamma dash minus 2 q 0 bar divided by gamma dash and gamma dash is equal to 10, okay, because gamma dash is equal to 20 minus 10 that will be 10 kilo Newton per meter cube. So, if I put L is equal to 20.5 because L is this one is the L. Okay. 20.5 and L 1 uh, we do not know that we have to calculate L is again 20.5 divided by 2 plus Q 0 bar is 27.75 divided by 10 minus minus 2 into 27.75 divided by 10. Okay. Again gamma dash is equal to 10. So, we have we will get L 1 is equal to 2 6 7 divided by L 1 minus 5.55 or we can write L 1 square plus 5.55 L 1 minus 267 that is equal to 0. So, after solving this I will get L 1 value is equal to 13.8 meter. Okay. So, L 1 value is 13.8 meter say this is 20. So, 13.8 uh, will be somewhere here. this will be 13.8 meter and so the neutral point will be here. So, this will be the neutral point okay, which is 13.8 meter below the field level. Okay, so, I have determined the 13.8 one is the L 1 value. So, F 1 I can calculate the expression is given that is uh, the expression um, if I integrate that. So, I will get that expression that is p k tan delta and then uh, integration of 0 to L 1 q 0 plus gamma dash z to z. So, now if I put the uh, limit, so this will be p k tan delta divided by q 0 dash L 1 plus half gamma dash L 1 square. So, now I will put this value p is the perimeter which is pi d. So, which will be pi d. So, 3.14 or you can write pi d directly. So, this will be pi d is 0.3, k is 1 minus sin phi. So, 1 minus sin 30 degree which is 0.5. So, 
So, tan delta again we are taking the same value 2 third of phi. Okay. Then q 0 bar 27.75, L 1 is 13.8 plus gamma dash is 10, L 1 is 13.8 square divided by 2. So, this value is 2 to 9. So, 2 to 9 is the negative skin friction that is acting in the pile. So, that we have determined. So, now for the case B, which is for the point bearing pile, so point bearing pile L1 is taken as the tip of the pile. So, L1 is equal to tip of the pile. So, for point bearing pile N1 is the neutral point is at the tip of the pile. So, that means the total pile length is giving negative skin friction, but the tip resistance is so high. So, that will counterbalance the negative skin friction because it is a point bearing pile. So, we can consider L 1 as a this case will be 20.5, L 1 is the tip 20.5. So, the F n will be here is equal to pi 0.3 1 minus sin 30 degree, then tan 2 third of 30 degree, then this will be 27.75, this will be 20.5 plus 10 into 20.5 square divided by 2. And here also in tip resist, uh, tip uh, bearing point bearing pile also we have neglected the contribution of the tip resistance during the mobilization of the friction resistance. So, this is is that is why we, are, we can use this uh, equation uh, or here uh, uh, we can uh, that equation even not required also whether we consider it or not, but that is not uh, uh, mandatory because we do not need to calculate the L 1 because directly we have uh, determined the L 1 we consider the L 1 as the tip. So, that is uh, not uh, I mean uh, important thing here. So, we can directly put this L 1 in the equation of F n and we will get the value. So, that is 4 5 8 kilo Newton. Well, this is 2 to 9 which is which will be uh, double because uh, even if we without putting this value in the equation we can get. So, that will be double because uh, the that is the neutral axis we have considered. So, I mean if the total one is giving the negative skin friction for the tip uh, bearing pile and the for floating pile. So, uh, the equal amount of negative and positive. So, that is why overall this will be almost uh, will be double. So, now I will uh, calculate the last example problem this is for group. So, we have a group pile of 9 pile in square group ok. So, spacing between the pile is 0.9 meter, diameter of the pile is 0.3 meter. So, my B is 2 into 0.9 plus 0.3 that is equal to 2.1 meter ok. So, the same problem I have done for the single pile, the same same problem that I am taking. So, this problem say, so this problem, so case 1. So, this problem I am taking here for the group pile. Okay, so, for the single pile it was 4.3 kilo Newton. So, same problem I am taking here. So, for the single pile, F n is 4.3 kilo Newton. So, F n g is equal to 
एफ एस एल सी पी जी प्लस गामा डैश एल सी ए जी दैट इज गिवेन सो पी जी इज फोर इन टू टू पॉइंट वन हियर दैट इज एट पॉइंट फोर मीटर ए जी इज टू पॉइंट वन स्क्वायर सो दैट इज फोर पॉइंट फोर वन मीटर स्क्वायर एंड एफ एस is we are taking that same value because here f s is the friction resistance and then now we can draw in linear fashion so f s will be suppose this is your lc so f s contribution without uh, perimeter and the length so that is nothing but that this is your gamma dash into lc this is your gamma dash into lc so it will act at the at the middle so average you have to take so average so you can take, take this is 0 plus gamma dash into lc so that is acting at the uh, average middle into k into tan delta okay that is the total uh, resistance fs so if i get this value and take this case delta is equal to 5 because the interaction is between soil to soil so we can write this value is half into gamma dash is 8 because uh, gamma value was given 8 i think gamma dash is yeah yeah gamma dash is 8 Okay, because gamma dash is eighteen minus ten, so this is eight kilo newton per meter square, a meter cube. Okay, so gamma dash is eight into LC. LC is two point five. In that problem, K value is point five, and this is ten thirty degree. so this will be 2.9 kilo newton per meter square okay so now we have to multiply with that value so we can write f n g is f s is 2.9 l c is 2.5 p g is 8.4 plus we are assuming the same gamma within the pile group also and that is 8 into lc is 2.5 ag is 4.41 so that will be equal to 149.1 kilo newton and for single pile consideration this is for block and this is for single this is equal to 9 into fn so 9 into 4.3 that is 38.7 kilo newton so final f g is 149.1 kilo newton because higher of these two so this way we can uh, determine the negative skin friction for for the group pile as well as for the single pile for different cases i have discussed the case 1 case 2 and case 3 is straight forward which is same as the case 1 uh, so we can determine that so and one thing i want to mention that for the tip uh, or the point bearing pile the negative skin friction basically influence the bearing capacity of the pile and for the for the floating pile it influences the settlement of the pile so this is one information so in the uh, I, i have finished the in the pile under compressive load part so in the next class i will start a, a new topic that is lateral loaded pile okay then uh, we'll discuss the pile under uplift and then remaining two topics we will discuss uh, so there will be uh, there are uh, are four topics are uh, basically three topics are remaining one is pile lateral loaded pile and uh, pile under uplift load so this will be combined as one module 
and the next module will be the oil foundation and the third module or last module will be pile uh, foundation in difficult soil uh, mainly uh, foundation in coll collapsible soil or the or the soiling uh, uh, and the soiling soil so these topics will be discussed uh, during the coming lectures thank you